ever wondered what Prince Harry's memoir has to do with his U.S. visa application? Well, you're about to find out. As Prince Harry's memoir hit the shelves, it sparked more than just literary chatter. It's now at the heart of an ongoing legal dispute over his U.S. visa application. The Heritage Foundation, a conservative think tank, is pushing to access Prince Harry's immigration records. The crux of their argument? Prince Harry's admissions of past drug use in his memoir. They suggest these revelations could contravene the criteria for visa eligibility. But here's where things get interesting. The Department of Homeland Security has a different take on this. The Department of Homeland Security, or DHHS, doesn't see Harry's memoir as a valid basis for visa scrutiny. Let's delve into their viewpoint. DHS, in its legal stance, contends that the narratives in a memoir, which are often crafted to engage readers and boost sales, should not be misconstrued as factual admissions. They argue that the assertions made in such a context are not equivalent to legally binding testimonies. This perspective emphasizes the DHS's commitment to preserving individual privacy during visa processes, even when dealing with public figures who might make revelations in their autobiographies or interviews. The DHS also highlights a significant nuance in this case. They draw a clear line between casual disclosures in a book and verifiable evidence of drug abuse. While the Heritage Foundation may be using Prince Harry's literary confessions as their cornerstone, the DHS maintains that these are not substantial grounds for visa scrutiny. So, we have two opposing views. But what does this mean for privacy rights and public interest? This legal tussle isn't just about Prince Harry. It's about the delicate balance between public interest and individual privacy. This case has sparked a broader discourse, one that delves deep into the nuances of privacy rights, the credibility of public disclosures, and their intersections with immigration law. The question of whether a public figure's admissions in a memoir should be treated as concrete evidence in legal proceedings is now under the microscope. This case underscores the complexities inherent in celebrity-related legal matters. It brings to the forefront the challenges that arise when the public interest in a high-profile figure clashes with the individual's right to privacy. It also brings into focus the intricacies of immigration law, particularly when it comes to determining eligibility based on personal conduct and character. The unfolding of this case could potentially set a precedent for how public disclosures, such as those made in memoirs or interviews, are treated in legal contexts. It could also have implications for the way immigration law is applied, particularly in high-profile cases. As we continue to watch this case unfold, it's clear that the lines between public interest, privacy, and immigration policy are as blurred as ever. Stay tuned for more updates on this intriguing legal battle.